Welcome to Patrick's 53 on the road today. Beautiful Django Fest, drinking nine ats from Long Shadows with visitor all the way to Holland, Leo Emers. We see him many times in the Sam every year in Samoa. Absolutely, for 16 years. 16 years? 16 years now, yes. Wow. What did you, how did you start building a uh, guitar? The first years when I, when I was in Samoa, I uh, came there as a guitarist, you mm -hmm. know, picking up legs, playing. And I was looking for a good guitar and I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. So I decided to build one myself. And it started, to, started off as a hobby, beside my regular job. And uh, after a couple of years, I got so much work from people I knew and from gypsies from Holland, yeah. that I decided to become a professional guitar builder. Any regrets? Mm. <laughs> yeah, the paycheck. No, the paycheck. That's that's probably a good one. Yes, but uh, no, because uh, th that's what I wanted to do. That mm. that's in my heart. Yeah, and I knew that my regular job uh, would not give me the fulfill fulfillment yeah, as I have uh, now with my guitars. And what so. were you doing before? Uh, actually, I have a master's degree in medical informatics, okay. and I was working for pharmaceutical companies. So quite a change, right? Eh? Uh, it was a big change, yeah, a big change. But it was it was a necessary change for me. Yeah. Um, so tell us about uh, your collaboration with uh, Stokelo Rosenberg. That's also playing at the festival uh, yeah, later right. today. Now, once I decided to become a professional builder, uh, it's very hard uh, to. Uh, because the gypsy jazz market is small, mm -hmm. but it's scattered all over the world. Yeah. And I wanted people to recognize me. So, and that's when I decided to introduce the Stochelo Rosenberg model. Of course, I had to ask him, yeah. because he didn't know that, my plans. But uh, I made a copy of his Selma guitar, number 504. Yeah. And uh, he started to play it, he, uh, he liked it very much. And that's uh, when our uh, collaboration started. It's now the 11th year that the Stochelo Rosenberg uh, is available, mm -hmm. uh, built by me. And uh, that gives me a lot of recognition. A lot of uh, people saw that on my internet website. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the, and from there uh, I got enough orders to make a small living out of it. Nice. Uh, other musician that... Uh Wawa thing. Yes, after after Stochelo, uh, I got also a lot of attention from uh, from a lot of different uh, musicians. But uh, I chose it's a little bit of my stra strategy to pick uh, in each country a famous guitarist. Oh, okay. So uh, I had contact with Bulu and Elias Ferre, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm very proud that they also play uh, my yeah. guitars. Yeah. Uh, in Germany, uh, Wawa Adler, yeah. who plays actually. Uh, the antique? Uh, the antique model, which Arch you see over here. And right. And uh, Robin Nolan. And, uh, and a couple celebrities like uh, uh, Hank B. Marvin, who played with the Shadows. So uh, there are a, lo a lot more, but those guys are the yeah. most uh, outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that you collaborate with. Exactly. Tell us about, a bit about this uh, model, that's the antique. Uh, yes, the antique model uh, I introduced uh, I introduce my new models always at Samoa. Mm -hmm. uh, some of my models have F holes, but this one is uh, a Selma replica. So that means that the construction is exactly like Selma. Mm -hmm. The inside, the outside, the neck is exactly based on Selma. And uh, the special thing about the guitar is it has this antique finish. Yep. The antique finish is first a cosmetic finish to give the guitar a, a vintage look. But secondly, the finish is also very thin, so not a glossy, shiny guitar, yeah, yeah, but yeah. a very light finished guitar, and that gives the guitar directly a very vintage sound. Much better than a guitar with a lot of lacquer on it, because lacquer is a, a kind of resistance for the sound of the guitar. It's a little bit more vun vulnerable, but it's uh, very authentic sounding. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, the bees are coming. <laughs> Um, another ca question. So, first time in the U U.S. visit. Why did you decide to uh, to attend uh, Django Fest here? Yes, yes, because I'm a regular visitor of Samoa, who is the cradle of the Django Reinhardt music. 
Uh, I was actually I was uh, invited to come here. Uh, I knew uh, I already met uh, Nick, mm. the, orga organi the organizer of this festival, yeah. a couple of years, and uh, he asked me to come and to give uh, a workshop about uh, guitar making, guitar construction, and Selma guitars. And so, uh, yeah, I decided to, to to come here and also to check out myself how the American the people market, are uh, experience the Django Reinhardt uh, yeah. music. Yeah. Right. Beautiful setting here too. It's to absolutely visit. gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, we have the Samoa Island, you yeah. know, the small a Il bit bigger Il du Beko, <laughs> uh, but this is Whitby Island and it's as beautiful. Uh, I know it's as a beautiful France. place to to visit uh, all around U.S., Canada, even some people from uh, Mexico that comes up and right, uh, yeah. Not even I think even the European one will start coming one day just uh, to visit this uh, West Coast. Absolutely beautiful. If I make some money with my guitars, I will definitely buy uh, a cabin over here. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so keep buying guitars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, keep thanks, on buying them. Thanks for your time. Like I always say, keep drinking good wine, like the one of uh, Night Ats, and keep playing that music and like I say to keep playing you need to find to buy a nice guitar a nice like guitar a, like this one yeah okay